wait upon the Lord. Are you ready? To wait upon the Lord means that you wait for instructions that give you victory past season. To wait upon the Lord is beyond just a mentality of dependence. It means to wait for instructions. Every time you are stuck and you are around a season that does not seem to open up for you, when you stay, you don't just stay as a mentality alone, you stay to receive instructions. Because when the word of the Lord comes, it comes as a key that can open you up to the next season. Shall I pursue? It says pursue, overtake, and without fail, recover all. Many people wait upon the Lord, but they do not stay until he speaks. When you wait upon the Lord, your trigger to leaving that place is when his voice comes. Can I tell you, God speaks, but he's not always speaking. You were created in his image. You speak, but you are not always speaking. God speaks, but he's not always speaking. The Bible will say on the fifth year, on the fifth day of the tenth month, the word of the Lord came. Your assignment is to stay until the word comes. Father, should I stay in Nigeria? Or should I go to UK? Or should I go to Canada? What is the next, what is the next 10 years of my life like? Can I tell you this? When God is silent, don't be in a hurry to suggest what he's saying. Because the silence of God is also a language. You must know how to interpret the silence of God. This is where Satan will slip into your desperation and tell you things that sound like God. He can appear as an angel of light. someone learning an angel of light and there are times you can hear things and think it is God whereas it is not God wait father what is the next level the next season in ministry and you literally shut down let me tell you this the process of waiting makes you look like a fool for a long time until his word comes but with the word of the Lord comes acceleration acceleration God can tell you wait you're a man of God Lord when do I start ministry I'm ready and he says wait and for a long time you will look like a fool what are we doing oh God and then one day his word comes and with that word comes the empowerment for the season someone just gives you a call and says the Lord instructed me to hold your hands financially you see when you don't hear God as a ghost, I said, Peter said, if it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. Peter, I want to teach you that boat is not the only way to go to the other side. You can wait. There are many ways to transport yourself. The usual is to use a boat. But when the boat fails, there is something you can get in the place of waiting. The word of God is also a vehicle. It can transport you. That the same thing a boat can do, the word of God can do. The same thing a job can do, the word of God can do. The same thing men can do, the word of God can do. That was the essence of that miracle. It was not just about working on water. It was to show you the various ways you can arrive to the other side. That sometimes it is a boat, but there are times that you are already delayed. The boat has gone ahead of you. Find hope, you can still walk on water. Yes, sir. Apostle, my boat left since 2020 and it may never return. Your boat can be time and time has gone ahead of you. And as it is right now, that boat does not look like it will return back. There is another agency to help you. I will restore the years. God can bring his word the word of God can become anything that you lost and give you an edge in life. Who is learning tonight? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, the boat can go. But when the boat leaves, make sure the word is with you. And that word, you wait until it comes. 
but when it comes when it comes when it comes you will get up and begin to walk and some of you in one year you will catch up as though you started i know that for 10 years after graduation you did not get a job i understand if you were working by now you would have attained a certain i'm not teaching you to be lazy i'm not teaching there are ways life was designed to work but i'm saying based on the reality in our world there are times that the boat goes ahead of you but make sure when the boat goes ahead of you turn and wait don't just lament and sit there if you lament and sit there no word will come to you but when you wait his word comes his word comes his word comes his word comes I started ministry in Zaria the northern part of this nation and one time when my season there was over I began to sense in my heart that the season was over but where I was going to move to I did not know I just knew that it was over do you know when you get to these prophetic junctions be careful you can lose efficiency of 10 years by one carelessness prophetic junctions are delicate moments in the life of everyone you can do well for 10 years and one wrong decision will rubbish your testimony because you did not see well are we together now i knew that my time in zaria was exhausted but whether i was going to go was it america was it uk us was it abuja was it lagos where and i knew that it was to wait to wait upon the Lord I remember then I came into Lagos from South Africa had a meeting and then I went to London briefly for a meeting as I returned back I went to Abuja and I was to rush to Zaria for a program when they declared COVID you know the lockdown the three months lockdown I was trapped there in Abuja and all I did I said well since I don't have anybody to preach to now let me not waste my time let me wait stayed in prayer and the Lord gave me an instruction he said to buy the map no 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 it was even when I had, I had found out I was praying I knew that the season in Zaria was over but where would be the next place I did not know I kept praying and praying and it looked like God you can imagine for someone who prophesies for people it's difficult to stay till you hear God because there is impatience when you are used to hearing God for others it's a difficult thing to wait and I stood there and one time I just saw a vision the map of Abuja and I said this is it and I began to pray and look what God has done today you see you can clap for a man but it was the fruit of waiting for someone all through the period of this conference make it a retreat make it a retreat shut down on a few things and say Lord you must speak to me in this season I'm tired of recycling seasons of pain for there is a way that cement right unto a man and the Bible says the end thereof are the ways of destruction many of you have tried all kinds of things believing it was God that spoke to you now the result is showing it was not God use this conference to fine-tune your hearing fine-tune your hearing fine-tune your hearing to wait upon the Lord means to wait until his word comes the prophetic word that becomes a compass helping you to navigate through the season you are about to enter number three what does it mean to wait upon the Lord who is learning tonight to wait upon the Lord means to stay until you evolve to a more superior version of you that can manifest the prophetic word on your life now listen we were discussing again with pastor Shola while we were coming and I was telling him that there are many ways God answers prayers let me tell you three ways God answers prayers number one by supernatural manifestations like healings deliverances he can answer you instantly supernaturally number two God answers prayer by introducing the ministry of men to your life the ministry of men number three God answers prayers by causing you to grow into the version that he can bless because there are many things that we call prayer requests today that are only there 
because you have not grown it was never supposed to be a prayer request the the fact that you have it as a prayer request is proof to you that you have not grown to the version that can be trusted with that answer are we learning now so when you wait upon the Lord you stay there please listen this is a major component of waiting to wait until you mold like a reptile like a snake coming out of your former self into a more spiritual version a more consecrated version a more enlightened version to wait upon the Lord means to stay in his presence until that which becomes a limitation to your next level is broken the flesh the the encumbrances that tie you down the weights you stay in his presence until that circumcision happens don't forget what we're discussing that to wait upon the Lord number one is a spiritual orientation of total trust and dependence upon the Lord number two to wait upon the Lord means to stay until he speaks using his voice to give you direction for the next season number three to wait upon the Lord means to stay in his presence until his presence does something to you and evolves you to a more spiritual version a more powerful version a version of you with greater capacity to now be able to handle the weightier things that he wants to bring you into the Bible says an heir for as long as that heir is a child he differed not from a slave if that heir is a man of God no matter what kind of expectation you have God will restrict growth he will restrict results until growth is attained God will restrict results until growth is attained there are many restrictions that are not demonic it is the mercy of God he is stopping you from wasting your seasons so he keeps you until you grow who is learning so when the Bible says they that wait upon the Lord you understand what he's saying now they that have this consciousness that my entire life revolves around the help and the mercy of God that outside of his help and mercy I am what I am Paul says by the grace of God I am what I am by the grace of God it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but the Lord that showeth mercy are we together now haven't obtained help from the Lord I continue this way number two to wait upon the Lord means to wait for his word he gives you the prompting he gives you the matching order he gives you the direction he gives you the instruction for the next season contained within that instruction is the strategy for victory for the season you are about entering let me tell you this yesterday's formula may not give you today's victory just because you parted the Red Sea yesterday does not mean anytime you see a sea the solution is to part it there are times you will need to walk on water there are times God will give you a boat you anytime you stand before a sea don't assume that because you parted it yesterday it means every time you see a sea you will part it you may try to part it and drown this time around you have to wait for instructions per season and then number three to wait upon the Lord means to wait until his presence does something within you breaks that outer man breaks that flesh destroys all of those limitations that will frustrate your result tomorrow as a man of God you are trusting God to take you global you are trusting God to open up doors and God is saying there are tendencies of pride tendencies of lust tendencies of envy tendencies of jealousy so he says wait upon me when you wait there he cuts all of those things until you truly become spiritual then he can open the doors of nations so that you do not become a casualty and corrupt your testimony and the name of the Lord it is better for God to deal with you before you rise how many of you know that the higher you go the more impactful your fall when you are on the ground and you fall you may not enjoy yourself but when you are at the top of the building and you fall you may not even live to tell the story 